I'd like to welcome you to our 2019-2020 Southern High School Athletic Banquet in our virtual portion of it. I'd like to first of all start off with our general welcomes. First of all, I'd like to thank our coaching staff for their year for this year's service to our athletic teams. I'd like to thank the Booster Club for their support this season for all the work that they've done supporting our athletes. I know it was a shortened season for both, and I really appreciate all their efforts. I'd like to thank the parents uh, for their support throughout the season. I think they did a really good job of being out there actively supporting our athletes this season. I'd like to thank the athletes uh, for their time and effort that they've provided throughout the summers, throughout the fall, the winter, and uh, starting out the spring sports season. I really think their efforts this year and the, um, the things that they did this season have been really great and really, really appreciate all that they have done this year. I'd like to thank the Board of Education for their support, their their financial support, and also their support at the, at the activities this year. I'd like to thank Dr. Brasovsky and Mr. Murphy for their support and their help throughout the, out the season, uh, being at games and helping whenever needed. Um, I'd like to thank the secretarial staff of Jane, Becky, Karen, Ray, and Don for their support this season and making sure that they get kids dismissed, getting programs prepared, making sure that uh, people are dismissed and uh, subs are taken care of throughout the season. I'd like to thank the maintenance staff, John, Randy, and the crew for uh, making sure that our facilities are in great shape and, and ready to go when it's game time. I'd like to thank our bus drivers to make sure that buses get to where they need to be, that buses are on time, and game teams are able to get to the to the activities when, when it's needed. Um, football facility-wise, I'd like to thank our um, crews that work the field, our chain gang, Doug Snook, uh, Scott, uh, Jeff, Jeff Van Winkle, Clayton, for um, helping out, out at, act, at games this year. I know there's been, uh, the season went pretty well and it was fun to be at the games, uh, but I appreciate their, their help at the games. The men in the booth, uh, James, Matt, Derek, and John for their support up in the press box. You know, you need to have quality people, and I think it's very important that we have those people there making sure that the games go off without a hitch. Our clock keepers uh, and bookkeepers at the, at the gym, Sue, Jolene, Matt, Curtis, and Doc, they, they do a great job, and you know what? You just know that you can just depend on those people to make sure that things go without a hitch and you don't have to worry about uh, making sure that the games go along and, and you just know that uh, things are going to go well. Our lines people in volleyball games, you know, Beth Willett, Kylie Benton, uh, John Adams, really appreciate them. You know, we know we have quality people and those people are there when you ask them to be there. Our student athletes, they did a great job throughout the, throughout the season for our junior high games, our J JV games, you know, making sure they're there to make sure that games go with all, also along without a hitch. Our Wymore Blue Springs Community Group for taking tickets at the football games. You know, they did a great job. They're on time helping out, making sure that tickets are taken. They're there to make sure that um, have that courteous courteous smile and courteous face to make sure that people know that uh, where to go at, at the games. Our Wymore EMS for providing ambulance services throughout the season. Really appreciate that group. Our Blue Springs Ball Diamond Association for providing softball, um, for providing the softball fields. Uh, for our softball teams this year, you know, I know it was a crazy season and softball kind of ended in a weird way, you know, starting out games at our fields and moving our games from our fields to Beatrice and then moving them back. You know, that crew did a great job of making sure to provide concession stands for our, for our games. I really greatly appreciate that. Our cheerleaders for the supports throughout the season did a great job. The band uh, for their support of the athletic teams this year did a great job also. You know, the boost, sports boosters also, you know, making sure that they had ticket takers at games, you know, is really uh, great and really appreciate that group. I know there were probably several other people that I missed, and I just really want to thank, you know, thank everybody and anybody who I have missed um, and greatly appreciate everyone that's helped uh, make this a very successful season. I know it ended early, but you know what? Without the support of um, all you Raider fans, it really uh, this season wouldn't these seasons wouldn't have gone as well as they've gone. So appreciate that. Thank you. This is Coach Hookstra recapping our football season. I'd like to start off by thanking my family and the other coaches' families for their support and understanding during the very busy season. Thank you, Coach Sadoff, Coach Adams, and Coach Dvorak for your dedication to the Southern football program. I appreciate your efforts in helping our student-athletes, 
your time game planning, and your contributions in developing the young men in our program. Thank you, Coach Milligan and Coach Jurgens for their time and efforts at the junior high level. Best wishes to Coach Milligan in his retirement. Thanks to our student managers, Blaze Barleen, Logan Hopper, Damian Parrott, and ball boy Caleb Forky for helping out this season. Thank you, Seth Sadoff, Chris Milburn, and Curtis Rickers for taking stats this season. A special thanks to the football super parents for their game day meals. And thank you, parents and fans, for your awesome support of our team at games and at pep rallies. To all the young men on the team, I especially want to thank you for your positive attitude and effort for the 13 weeks we worked in the scorching heat and into the freezing cold. I'm sure you'll agree it was a lot of fun and worth every minute of effort. The motto of day by day was not lost on this group as we worked hard to improve our skills and our game each and every day. The 2019 season was the second season of Southern playing eight-man football. It was an exciting, memorable season, and above all, we had fun doing it. We jumped out to a 3-0 and record with lopsided wins over Diller Odell and Pawnee City, and a very satisfying homecoming victory over Palmyra to avenge heartbreak from the previous season. Week 4 versus BDS earned publicity from the Omaha World Herald as their game of the week. In front of a packed house, we gave them all they could handle, but eventually lost to the number two playoff seed. The next week, we went out to Thayer Central and literally ran over them as we rushed for 450 yards in a shootout. Our second setback of the season came against a talented number three seeded Elmwood Murdoch team. Arguably, our most exciting, and I'd probably refer to it as stressful, game of the season was our 22-18 win over Tri-County, one that came down to a defensive stop in their end zone on fourth down. We wrapped up the season with a 48-28 win over HTRS. The 6-2 regular season record earned us the number six seed and a playoff berth. Unfortunately, we lost to a red-hot Tri-County team in the first round, who also went on to an upset win in the second round. To the young men on the team, be proud of the back-to-back playoff appearances you earned. I hope that down the road you can reflect back on the good times you had playing a game with your friends and teammates. I'd like to recognize the members of our football team. Freshman Brian Forkey, Austin Forney, Isaiah Hoover, Devin Ideas, Kale McGuire, and Brendan Saltz. Sophomores, Brock Adams. Brock earned all-district second team honors. Juan Basalto, Connor Bradley, Donald Gerganius, Tyler Johnson, Nate Lyons, Alex Rutherford. Alex earned all-district honorable mention honors. Brad Schmidt and Chance Swearingen. Juniors, Preston Bear. Howard Bennett, Carson Borzakowski. Carson earned all-district first-team honors and all-conference honorable mention punter. Doug Rainey, Doug earned all-district second-team honors. And Isaac Spann. And seniors are Joel Estrada, Dalton Hurd. Dalton earned second-team all-district honors. Braden Clover was an all-district first-team member, all-conference first-team offense and defense, all-state honorable mention for the Omaha World Herald, all-state first-team for the Lincoln Journal Star, all-state honorable mention for the Huskerland Prep Reports. Braden was also selected for the River Battle Bowl, a game between Nebraska and Iowa All-Stars. He will also be competing in the Nebraska Shrine Bowl for the South Squad in Kearney, and will also compete in the eight-man All-Star game in Hastings this summer. Braden also earned the opportunity to walk on at the University of Nebraska, and we wish him the best. Other seniors included Dalton Meyer, who is a second-team All-District honoree, Damian Saltz, Peyton Saltz, 
Peyton earned all district first team honors and all conference honorable mention for defense. Jacob Shepherdson earned all district second team honors. Jacob Van Winkle was all district honorable mention. Riley Wagner was all district first team and all conference honorable mention. Dalton Zimmerman. And Nick Zito was all district first team, all conference first team for both offense and defense. Nick also earned all state honorable mention for the Lincoln Journal Star, for the Omaha Roll Herald, and the Husker Land Prep Report. These seniors will be missed. They are a talented bunch and provided good leadership for the entire team. The cupboard is not empty. We have a lot of talent coming back next year, and we are excited about the opportunity ahead of us and to make it a three-peat for the playoffs. This is your back-to-back state qualifying 2019 Southern Raider football team. Hi, I'm Jeff Schiebert, coach of the Southern Lady Raiders softball team. I'd like to thank my wife for putting up with me during the season because sometimes things got a little edgy here or there when things weren't going well. And also we played lots of games on Saturday, so that meant that Saturdays are usually off limits. I'd also like to thank my assistant coach, Shelby Thurness. She did a great job working with the girls. Uh, they all improved as the season went on, and they really learned a lot from the game from her too. Shelby is also going to be taking over the softball program this fall, and I'm sure she'll do a great job. I'd like to thank the parents for being there to cheer your girls on, letting them play softball this year, and also helping with the fields when we hosted districts, and lastly, bringing food to the games because the girls, after playing all day Saturday, were usually pretty hungry after the games. Our season ended up with 11-17 record. We struggled a little bit. We had some good things happen. The first term of the year, we played in Syracuse invite. We got second place. Uh, we lost to Freeman, who was kind of our nemesis all year. The Wilbur Quadrangular, we ended up getting first place in that, and we were 2-1, and one, but we won by defensive points. The girls really played three games really well. And then districts, we ended up with third place finish. Uh, it was kind of controversial because we were playing really well on one day, and it was postponed because of weather. So the next day we kind of had some things go wrong. We ended up getting beat and getting third place. Our JVs ended up with a re- record of seven and four. Now let's go through and meet our Southern Lady Raiders. We'll start with the freshmen. We had Taylor Tronick, who was Omaha World Herald, Lincoln Journal Star, All-State Class C, honorable mention. We had Kendra Troxel, who was Lincoln Journal Star, Class C, All-State, honorable mention. Our sophomores, we had Allie Engelman. She was from Diller Odell. She played JV. Then the year was playing varsity because she worked really hard. And we had Mallory Denner, who again started off JV and then moved up to varsity by the end of the year because she was again working really hard and she also ran bases for us. So. Riley Short, she played JV most season and worked really hard and got herself better as the year went on. And then Maddie Yoakum. She played third base for us on varsity and did a good job. Our juniors were Katie Forney, she played JV for us. Hayden Hutchinson played varsity for us, a little bit of catcher, shortstop. Carly Lobby, she played varsity first base and was a pitcher for us and did a really good job pitching. We had Alyssa Saltz, she played right field for us, JV and varsity and did a pretty good job for us. Skyler Pretzer was our shortstop. She was Lincoln Journal Star and Omaha World Herald, All-State Class C honorable mention. Katie Ripstonic, she was our right fielder on JV and did a really good job in the year hitting because she won a couple of JV games for us the way she was hitting. Now let's go to our seniors. Seniors did a great job this year working hard and getting things done. Our first one is Alice Arnold. She played varsity and played right field for us, a little bit of shortstop, a little bit of catcher, a little bit of second base. She did a great job for us. Sammy Cressy. Sammy was our pitcher. Sammy ended up doing a great job pitching for us and really worked hard out there in the pitching months. Sammy was Omaha World Herald, All-State, Class C, honorable mention. We had Claire Huskra. She played center field for us. Did a great job out there. She could run down balls everywhere. Claire was our leader on our team. 
she came out there ready to go and get better every practice and worked really hard and tried to be show the girls what to do to get better. Uh, Claire was honorable mention all state class C and Omaha World Herald and Lincoln Journal star. We had Ariel Lane. Ariel did a great job for us. She played about any position there. We'd have somebody injured or something happened, she'd get in there and play. And she also ran bases for us. She worked really hard and did a good job. Michelle Cleekin. Michelle played first base for us at the end of the year. She kind of started off slow. But by the end of the year, she was doing a great job of hitting and had some key hits in some games for us. We had Madison Vader. Madison played right field for us. We did a good job there and really worked hard to try to get things done also. Braille Troxel. Braille started off playing third base for us, then started going DP, did a good job at the DP spot, and her season was kind of cut a couple games short in way when her and her sister were going for a fly ball and they ran into each other. And I think Brielle was like a foot short of the first down marker, so that kind of hurt us there. And then we have Juliana Ullman. Juliana caught for us. She really improved as the year went on. She worked really hard. And there at the end of the year, her bat really improved too. She started hitting the ball pretty hard and doing some good things out there. So this is the Southern Diller Odell Lady Raiders softball team. Thank you. Hello everyone, Coach Lannenberger here. I just wanna start by briefly going over our cheer season and end with announcing some awards. So we started off the year practicing all summer on cheers as well as hosting a home NCA camp. For those of you who are unfamiliar with what that means, this was where we had a certified Nebraska Cheer Association coach come down to Southern for a couple of days and she taught the team some cheers a few dances, and then worked on jumps as well as arm motions and technique to help us prepare for the season, basically. The team worked very hard over the summer and got many cheers learned and a lot accomplished, so we were able to actually start working on our state cheer routine earlier this year than we did last year. This was very beneficial for us because it gave us the opportunity to perform and compete in a couple of additional competitions before attending the state cheer competition in Grand Island in February. The first competition we attended this year was at Scott Catholic in Omaha. We left there with a runner-up trophy for our non-tumbling routine, which was a great way for us to start off our competition season. A few weeks later, after that, we attended a competition at Midland University in Fremont. When we were there, we also received a runner-up trophy for our routine. So we were going strong with two back-to-back runner-up trophies, which was very good for us that year, this year. <laughs> um, throughout the craziness of learning new cheers and working on the state routine, we also cheered at many home and away football and basketball games, as well as hosting our annual Little Raider Cheer Camp. This year was the first year we opened the camp up to allow boys as well as just girls to camp. And I was very pleased to see a handful of boys at cheer camp this year, which was amazing. The past few years, we've had an increase in kids registered for camp, so it's awesome to see that continuing to expand. Um, along with all of that, we worked in concessions a few times and put on pep rallies throughout the school year. To conclude our season, we took that trip out to Grand Island for the Nebraska State Cheer and Dance Competition. We went up the night before again like we did last year, had a team dinner at Applebee's, which was quite the experience, and then ran through the routine a bit before everyone headed to bed. The next morning, we were all up by 5 a.m. doing hair and makeup, preparing for the day. Shortly after, we headed to the Heartland Event Center and performed soon after that. We were one of the first teams to perform that morning. We performed around 9 a.m. and we had to wait about five hours for the award ceremony to hear how we did. So that was a little nerve wracking, a very long wait. Our routine did have a few errors and there were some minor mistakes, but that's obviously bound to happen no matter what. Um, awards were finally announced and we ended up with the runner up trophy in the non-tumbling division, which is the first time in school history we've ever placed the Hyatt State in that category. After awards were finished, I went and got the score sheets and we saw that we scored a 66 and 3 tenths as our score, which was only 1 and 6 tenths behind first place. So we were very close to that first place trophy, which is awesome. Um, even though we didn't end up with the place we wanted, I'm incredibly proud of these athletes and could not have asked for a better year. 
we added four new cheerleaders and had four returners. So to have a team where half of them have never cheered before and to come out with three runner-up trophies and a runner-up trophy at state even and breaking school records is amazing. Um, I'm very proud of them and happy with how we finished the season. To conclude, I would like to go over some awards for the year. Each of these awards were voted on solely by the cheerleaders. I had no partake in who won which awards at all other than just tallying the scores. So we will start off with the award for best spirit. So best spirit award goes to Raina Shaw. The award for most positive on the cheer team goes to Kylie Combs. The award for loudest during cheers goes to Raina Shaw. The award for outstanding leadership also goes to Raina Shaw. The award for most dedicated cheerleader goes to Raina Shaw. The award for most improved goes to Garrett Rutherford. The award for most reliable is a tie between Raina Shaw and Katie Forney. The award for most encouraging goes to Raina Shaw. The award for most purpose with props, so that could be signs, megaphones, palms, that award goes to Kylie Combs. The award for best facials goes to Raina Shaw. The award for sharpest motions goes to Kylie Combs. The award for best jumps goes to Adelaide Hurd. And then the last three awards I have are team MVP awards. So there's a sideline MVP award, and this is awarded to the cheerleader who the team as a whole thought was the MVP cheering at football games and basketball games only. Nothing else, just cheering at games. So our sideline MVP for the year is Kylie Combs. Our next MVP award is state MVP. So our cheerleader that got this award is the one that the team thought did the best and was the most valuable person on the cheer team for our performance at all of our competitions that we used at state. So our state MVP ended up being a tie between Raina Shaw and Adelaide Hurd. And then the very last award is overall MVP. So overall on the entire cheer team, the cheer team um, decided that Raina Shaw is the overall team MVP. So congratulations, Raina Shaw. And I do want to say that yes, Raina did receive many of these awards, but this girl deserves them. She was our lone senior this year, and I am thankful for all of the hard work and dedication that she had put into helping make the team better and better every single day. Um, we will definitely miss her a lot next year, but we're excited to see all that she accomplishes. And with only losing one senior off the team, that means we should have a pretty strong and experienced team coming into next year as well. So I look forward to seeing what we continue to accomplish in the months to come. Go Raiders! Hi Southern fans, I'm Carly Vitosh. I'm the head volleyball coach for the Lady Raiders volleyball program. I hope everyone's healthy and staying safe during this time and look forward to seeing everyone again very soon. I would like to thank my assistant coach, Jamie Schluter. She brings her love and passion for volleyball to the gym every day. She always wants what is best for the girls and we are lucky to have her help with the volleyball program. Thank you to Jalen Clover and Natalie Tronic for being our student managers this year. We greatly appreciate everything you did for our team. Thank you, Coach Bartels and Coach Willett for coaching the junior high teams. Thank you to the administration for supporting us throughout our season. Thank you to Ray for making all the programs and putting together the packets for all the athletes. Thank you to Karen for all the paperwork she does for the volleyball team throughout the season. And lastly, thank you to all the parents and fans for supporting us this year. We greatly appreciate it. I would also like to recognize and congratulate the senior class, not just the seniors on our team, but all of the senior student athletes that we are celebrating today. I want to specifically recognize Janessa Cooper, Brady Frazee, Shelby Sadoff, Raina Shaw, Cambry Singleton, and Lauren Tronic. These girls have been very special to me. I had the privilege of teaching them in sixth grade, my first year at Southern. I have enjoyed watching them grow throughout the years. I will never forget them and their positive and outgoing personalities. These six girls have changed our program with their dedication, leadership, and talents on and off the volleyball court. They showed the underclassmen how to work hard, show up early, and accept their role on the team, and have fun at practices and games. 
thank you to the six of you for what you have given the Raider Volleyball Program. We will miss you more than you will ever know, and we are excited to see where life takes you. I would like to also recognize the underclassmen members of our team this year, Kaylee Clover, Tori Smith, Carly Sadoff, Madison Wagner, Callie Cooper, and Elena Clover. No matter the age, they all stepped up as leaders at different points when needed. They were all major contributors to our very small team. And even though our numbers might remain small next year, I know we'll see success because of their talents, leadership, and dedication to our volleyball program and our team. Once again, our volleyball season flew by. I blame the girls for the season going by so fast. They always say, when you're having fun, time flies. That was true this year. We ended our season 16 and 14, which beat last year's record and was the most wins the Raider volleyball team has had since 2005. I am so proud of these 12 girls. They proved that hard work pays off. They gave it everything they had every day in practice and at games. We improved in multiple areas this year. At Mudecas, we ended third in the B division, and we placed fourth at conference. As a team, we beat the school recorded ace serves in a year with 220. Janessa Cooper leads the program with 48 aces, and Madison Wagner is fourth with 41 in a season. We also beat the school's serve receive percentage with 89%, and Madison Wagner leads the school with 93%. Madison also leads the school with individual digs of 357. Some other accomplishments include NSAA Academic All-State Janessa Cooper and Kaylee Clover, Pioneer Conference Second Team Madison Wagner, Third Team Kaylee Clover, Honorable Mention Janessa Cooper, All Mudecas Class B First Team Kaylee Clover, Honorable Mention Madison Wagner. Some of the most exciting games of the season include our Palmyra and Freeman Triangler, where we took Palmyra in two sets and Freeman in three sets. Since I have been coaching, that is the first time we have come home with a double win of that triangular. Another exciting game was our second match at conference against Nebraska City Lords, who was the third seed. We beat them in two sets, 25 to 21 and 25 to 22. We had multiple other games that were exciting this year, but those three games were proof of what happens when they work as a team and don't back down to a challenge. I would now like to announce our team awards. Each player on our team votes on who they believe is deserving of the award. For the varsity, the most valuable player goes to Kaylee Clover. Most improved player was a tie with Kelly Cooper and Elena Clover. Outstanding server award was a tie with Janessa Cooper and Camber Singleton. Most dedicated player, Lauren Tronick. Offensive player, Kaylee Clover. Defensive player, Madison Wagner. Nervous player, Elena Clover. Loudest player, Cambry Singleton. Junior varsity, most valuable player was a tie with Callie Cooper and Carly Sadoff. Most improved player was Carly Sadoff. Most dedicated player, Elena Clover. Offensive player, Callie Cooper. And defensive player was a tie with Brady Frazee and Tori Smith. Congratulations, girls. Thank you again to the seniors for making this year great. All six of them accepted their role on the team and were open to changes being made on the court. Their competitive spirit was for the win in the end and not for themselves. Again, thank you, 2019 Lady Raiders, for another great year, and I can't wait to see what next year brings. So the 2019-2020 Raider basketball team um, athletic banquet speech, and it's actually being done underneath my daughter's loft bed which I never thought I'd ever say in my entire life. So weird times, but anyway, I'm gonna start with some thank yous. Uh, first and foremost, my my players, uh, your hard work and dedication and all you do for, for the program is awesome. And I uh, we wouldn't be here without you. We thank you so much for that. Um, it's a joy to coach you and I greatly appreciate all that you do for us and all the work that you put in to make things go the way they do. So um, next, Sports Boosters. The Sports Boosters do so much for all our programs, uh, not just basketball, obviously. Um, they do a lot for, for everybody, and they give us access to things that we would never have if if we didn't have their support. So thank you to them. Um, next, the the super parents and all, all the people that help put together the pregame, postgame meals, snacks, we appreciate the heck out of you, uh, especially Jackie Borzakowski, who kind of runs that. Um, thank you so much. That's really beneficial to our team. Um, and they they pretty much tell you, but probably not enough. We thank you so much for that. 
Um, and finally, thank you to the to the Raider supporters, the people that support the basketball team no matter what, the ones that are there through the highs and the lows, the thick and the thin. We appreciate the the heck out of you. We we tell the team all the time that adversity reveals character. So when times get tough, you find out quickly who's got your back and who's on your side. And, you know, last couple of years when we've started the way we did, we found out who who's on our side and who supports us. And we, we want to say a big thank you to all those people. Okay, next to the to the coaches in our program, um, we have a wonderful youth program uh, that starts second and third grade. Um, those coaches can coach anywhere to, uh, from 20 to 30 games a year. Uh, don't get paid, obviously. They're just there on their, their own time. And and we appreciate them so much because really – Without them, we don't do what we do at the high school level. They are the, the foundation of our program. And so everything they do, you know, probably doesn't get seen a whole lot from from maybe the high school angle, but uh, they're probably as important as anything. So we appreciate them. Uh, our coaches in the program are, are Mike Ringen, Dusty Adams, Jeff Schieber, Drew Porter, Trevin Sadoff, and Aaron Whitwer. And... Like I said, thank you very much to all you guys for, for all you do for us. Finally, I'd like to thank my wife and kids for their love and support. And most importantly, I, I thank God because everything we have comes from him and wouldn't be able to do any of this without him. Okay, this year's basketball season honestly was a lot of fun. And it starts with having good character kids in your program. And we do. And that's probably the... The best thing I could tell parents, um, fans, is we have a lot of awesome kids. And that's probably more important than any award or any game you could win is having awesome kids to work with. Um, as far as how the season went, we we wanted to have a better start than we did the year before. Last year we started 4-7, and seven, and so we one-upped it and we, we went 3-7 and seven to start. Um, and in that three and seven, we had a lot of doubters, a lot of people, um, unfortunately telling the guys how bad they were and, um, and that wasn't easy on them. And to their credit, they didn't let it bother them, or at least they didn't show it. They just kept working and working and they didn't buckle. They didn't back down. They, they kept fighting. And from that three and seven on, they went 10 and four. And in that 10 and four, they also won a Medecas championship and they came dang close to, to making a sub-state game. So um, again, the, the character of the team is probably the thing I'm most proud of. Of um, When they were backed against a wall, they, they didn't stop, they didn't, they didn't quit. And they finished with a heck of a season. And with that, the JV team also had a, a great year. Um, they finished with another winning season. And I think they won 12 or 13 games, somewhere in there, and showed a lot of potential for the future. Um, with that, the the seniors finished off four winning seasons for them. So maybe the thing I'm most proud about is the, the – Seniors went through their whole high school career without experiencing a losing season. They had a winning season every year. And we will miss them. And we're excited about the guys coming up, holding that standard every year. Um, you know, a winning season is is the, the basement. We want to keep working to get more and more and higher and higher and get better every year. So um, next I'm going to announce the team awards. Um, voted voted on by just the team. The team votes for these things and and your winners are about to be announced. First being the service award. The service award is given to the to the teammate that is is really good at being unselfish and helping others. The one that serves others the most. Um, probably my favorite award is just a kid that just works really hard at being good to other people. And that uh, this year, the award goes to Jacob Shepherdson, and it comes naturally for him. He's probably one of the best teammates. He is the best teammate I've, I've ever coached, the most unselfish kid I've ever been around, the kindest kid I've ever been around. And so uh, I'm, I'm happy that 
Jacob Shepherdson uh, gets the service award because he definitely deserves it. Next, uh, the guys uh, thought that the most improved player this year was Ethan Garrels. So Ethan Garrels will win the most improved player award. Congratulations to Ethan. Um, next is the Mr. Hustle Award, which goes to the person that the guys thought hustled the most, and that is a Alex Rutherford. So congratulations, Alex. And then finally, the Mr. Basketball. This award is given to the player that most exemplifies a Raider basketball player on and off the court. And it goes to Carson Borzakowski. So congratulations to you four. Um, the great thing about all these awards is there are several guys that were close seconds, so several guys could have won many of these awards, and that's a testament to the great kids that we have in our program. And so with that, I'll, I'll read off all the, the players on our team this year, starting with the seniors, first being Jacob Shepherdson, who we just mentioned. There's Riley Wagner. Riley was all Medeca's honorable mention this year, and I think probably – also one of the most improved players on the team. Um, and then our last senior is Joel Estrada. Um, Joel Estrada won the most improved player uh, either two or three years ago. So all those seniors, all three seniors, have won a major award in their four years. So that's pretty cool. Um, next, our juniors, starting with Preston Bear, who is all Medeca's honorable mention. Howard Bennett. Carson Borzakowski. Carson was all Medeca's first team and all-conference second team, and then Ronald Gerganius. Ronald had to sit out because he transferred, so we just got to see Ronald on the, the JV end of things this year, and we hope to see more from him next year. Uh, sophomores, starting with Brock Adams. Brock was Almadeca's first team and all-conference honorable mention. Tate and Belding Ames, Connor Bradley, Donald Gerganius, Nate Lyons, Alex Rutherford, Chance Swearingen, and Joe Walk. And then our freshmen this year were Ethan Girls, Kale McGuire, and Evan Sadoff. Our managers were Blaze Barlene, Logan Hopper, and Kyson, Kyson Singleton. Um, I was told that I had to keep this at five to six minutes. I'm going on nine right now, so I will shut off here quickly. I just want to say that you know, I could go through and tell you great things about each and every one of these kids. Um, they all have a story and, and they all have great potential and a lot of good things to say about them. So I uh, wish we had that time to go through and, and talk about each one. But um, I'll finish off with, again, a great group of kids with a lot of character and hard work and dedication to the sport. And it's my pleasure to coach them. Um, appreciate all that they do and uh, really look forward to next year and, and starting this over again. So thank you again to everyone and see you next year. I would like to start off by thanking the following people. My wife, Kelly. Thank you for always being so supportive in everything that I do. Coach Bedner, being a first year teacher can be very stressful and you throw in coaching duties and it can make for a tough year. Coach Bedner did a great job and we appreciate his time and commitment. Thank you to our junior high basketball coaches, Coach Sadoff and Coach Bedner for working with our younger players. Thank you to our student managers for making sure we had everything we needed on the bus and off the bus and also for filming all of our games. They did a great job. Our student managers were Addison Young, Jessica O'Keefe, Taylor Trownick, Jaden Allington, Morgan Ward, Carly Sadoff, and Kaya Rollins. Thank you to the athletes for their hard work and dedication. And thank you to the parents for allowing your daughter to be part of our program. Parents spend a lot of time traveling to support their daughters and we appreciate that. And we are certain your daughters appreciate your support as well. This year's varsity team went 18 and seven. Reserves went 10 and two. The Lady Raiders had an overall record of 28 and nine. At this time, I'd like to introduce the Lady Raider basketball team. Your freshmen are Callie Cooper, Elena Clover, Kendria Troxel, Sophomores, Riley Short, and Madison Wagner. Juniors, Kaylee Clover and Tori Smith. Seniors, Janessa Cooper, Claire Hookstra, Shelby Sadoff, and Cambry Singleton. 
We're very proud of how this team performed this season. Coming into the season, we knew that our defense was going to have to be great as we were not a strong offensive team. For the second year in a row, the Lady Raiders held their opponents to under 30 points a game, 28 this year, and was a top two defensive team in Class C2 according to Husker Land Prep reports. Doing this is not an easy task as it takes a lot of hard work, it takes teamwork, and it takes the players buying into what the coaches want them to do. Our goal was to put ourselves in a position to have a chance to win every game by playing great D, and that is what we did. This group of ladies won 18 games this year. From what I have found, this is the third most wins in the history of Lady Raider basketball. They have shown what hard work, dedication, and teamwork can do. I knew this team was determined and focused, and it showed during a two-week period in January. The four games after the Medecas tournament was going to be our toughest stretch of games of the season, and as a coach... I wasn't quite sure how that would stretch would go. We ended, ended up winning three of those games against three very good teams. Dilla Rodell, Sterling, who won 20 games and qualified for the state tournament, and Johnson Brock. That stretch of games was proof of what kind of players we had. This is an amazing group of young ladies, not only on the court, but outside the sports world as well. They give 100% in everything they do. I want to thank the seniors for their leadership on and off the court and wish them the best of luck as they start the next journey of their lives. They will be greatly missed. To our returning players, we look forward to working with you and continuing to build on what the previous players have started. Make sure you are getting out and doing some workouts and getting a basketball in your hands during this social distancing time. We had several players receive some individual honors and would like to recognize them at this time. Tori Smith was named All Medecus Class B Honorable Mention. Claire Hookstra, NSAA Academic All-State and Pioneer Conference, honorable mention. Camry Singleton, NSAA Academic All-State, Pioneer All-Conference third team, all Medecas Class B first team. Kaylee Clover, All-State Lincoln Journal Star, honorable mention. All-State Omaha World Herald, honorable mention. All Medecas Class B first team and Pioneer All-Conference second team. Congratulations to these players. Thank you to all the Raiders for a great season. This is your 2020 Lady Raider basketball team. 2019-2020 Southern High School Wrestling. These six wrestlers represent the very essence of a team. With skill levels ranging from beginner with no prior experience to a seasoned wrestler that's been wrestling since grade school, these athletes came together to make this wrestling season one of the most enjoyable we've ever had. They pushed each other and helped each other be the best they possibly could on and off the mat. They were always looking out for each other and taking care of business. Watching them grow and mature both mentally and physically to find out what they were capable of was a real reward of the season. Brian Forkey had a season record of 2-21. Brian worked hard all season and improved every day. Austin Forney had a season record of 14-15. and Austin showed great improvement throughout the season with a third place finish at the ECNC Conference Meet. Juan Basalto had a season record of 4-28. Juan had a never-give-up attitude and always pushed to the very end. Evan Hopkins had a season record of 11-16. Evan wrestled well all season with a third-place finish at the ECNC Conference Meet. Doug Rainey had a season record of 30-8. Doug completed well all season with a third-place finish at the ECNC Conference, first at Districts, and wrestled his way to the third round of the state tournament. Braden Clover had a season record of 33 and 10. Braden had a great season with a first place finish at the East Cincinnati Conference, second at Districts, and a well-earned fifth place medal at the state tournament. Braden was also a 2020 Any Wrestle Honorable Mention and an NSAA Academic All-State Wrestler. Each week they all made great improvements and continued to learn from their mistakes. Their work ethic and desire to get better was second to none. They worked to support each other and became a strong wrestling family. Thanks to Hunter for the early morning weight training and conditioning support. Thanks to Caden for his help at practice and tournaments. Thanks to Coach Schmidt and Coach Jurgens for all they do on and off the mat. And thanks to our families and friends. Well, the 2020 golf season certainly did not go like we wanted it to. 11 boys came out, three from Southern and eight from Dill Rodell. Unfortunately, after a week of practice, the coronavirus pandemic canceled our season. I would like to thank Dalton Zimmerman, my only Southern senior, for his four years of hard work and dedication to the golf team. 
Most importantly, I want to wish DZ the best of luck with his future endeavors. I gained a lot of farming and agricultural knowledge from him during his golf career, and I will certainly miss that. He will do great things as he moves forward in life. Best of luck to you, Dalton. Connor Rock and Bryce Kotinik, you need to get out and play over the summer because it's one of the few things you can still do in the middle of all this coronavirus stuff. I look forward to both of you returning next season. Hi, Raider fans. This is Coach Hookstra. On behalf of the entire coaching staff, I'd like to recognize several individuals who demonstrated the highest level of off-season commitment this previous summer. Our goal was for each athlete to attend the weight room on an average of three times per week for an eight-week program. These eight boys had the highest weight room attendance throughout the summer and met the 24-day goal. They are Brian Forkey, Brendan Saltz, Devin Ideas, Isaiah Hoover, Kale McGuire, Braden Clover, Nick Zito, and Isaac Spann. These four girls met the summer goal. Cambry Singleton, Janessa Cooper, Claire Hoekstra, and Carly Sadoff. Cambry, Janessa, and Claire met our summer weight room goals all four years. Way to go, ladies. To all the student athletes who met their goal, we thank you for your dedication in the off season. I'd also like to recognize our track athletes who unfortunately had their season cut short and were unable to compete this spring. The freshmen out for track this year were Austin Forney, Isaiah Hoover, Nicole Lottenschlager, Cale McGuire, Ryan Pallas, Garrett Rutherford, Xander Rollins, and Kendria Troxel. Sophomores are Brock Adams, Chance Swearingen, Alex Rutherford, Maddie Wagner, and Connor Bradley. I'd also like to con congratulate Connor on being a 2019 state qualifier in the 400 meter dash as a freshman. Juniors out for track are Howard Bennett, Tori Smith, Isaac Spann, and Ron Gerganius. And the seniors were Claire Hookstra, Braden Clover, Raina Shaw, and Camber Singleton. I'd also like to thank Coach Emerson, Coach Benton, Coach Bartels, and Coach Schluter for their commitment to the track program. And one final thought, I'd like to give best wishes to Coach Schieber on his retirement. Your dedication to Southern and your quick wit will be missed. Best wishes. We have several awards that we'll be handing out this time. As we all know, being an athlete takes a lot of dedication. Late practices, late suppers, early practices, and a lot of time on buses and getting home late from contest. Finding time to study and do homework can be challenging at times. Many of our student athletes have continued to excel in the classroom while participating in act athletics. They all understand the importance of their education and the opportunities that they have of, the, of their successes in the classroom. The first award will be the Journal Star Academic All-State Award. A student must have attained at least a 3.6 grade point average on a 4.0 scale. They also must be a starter or the school may nominate one non-starter from the school to receive this award. At this time, we will recognize our Journal Star Academic All-Staters. Girls Basketball, Tori Smith, Kaylee Clover, Cambry Singleton, Janessa Cooper, Claire Hookstra, Shelby Sadoff. In Volleyball, Shelby Sadoff, Janessa Cooper, Cambry Singleton, Tori Smith, Shelby Sadoff, Lauren Tronick, Brady Frazee, and Raina Schaub. In football, Braden Clover, Dalton Hurd, Dalton Meyer, Dalton Zimmerman, Isaac Spann. In boys track, Braden Clover. In girls track, Claire Hookstra, Cambry Singleton, Raina Shaw. In wrestling, Braden Clover. In, in softball, Claire Hookstra, Brielle Troxel, Ariel Lane. And in boys golf, Dalton Zimmerman. And also this year, we have several athletes that have also excelled in the Nebraska School Activities Award. To be eligible for the Nebraska School Activities Association Award, a student must have maintained at least a 3.7 grade point average 
Uh, and those students are also nominated by the coaching staff based on their work ethic, leadership, and athletic performance. At this time, the following students will be announced. In softball, Claire Hookstra and Brielle Toxel. In volleyball, Janessa Cooper and Kaylee Clover. In, in so football, Dalton Hurd and Braden Clover. In wrestling, Braden Clover. In girls basketball, Claire Hookstra and Cambry Singleton. In girls track, Claire Hookstra and Cambry Singleton. In track and field, Braden Clover. And in boys golf, Dalton Zimmerman. And now we have our final two awards this year that we'll be handing out. Um, first of all, we'll be having the uh, Sertoma Athlete of the Year Award for Southern High School. Our Sertoma Athlete of the Year Award winner for Southern High School. Uh, presented by the Beatrice Sertoma Club. And the winner, our male winner is Braden Clover. And our female winner is Claire Hookstra. And now our final awards handed out this year are our Southern Raider Student Athlete of the Year Awards. Student Athlete of the Year Award winners are voted on by academic achievements of at least an 88 or higher award. Also, they must be no confirmed uh, training rule violations. Uh, coaches also vote on them and visit about uh, their work ethic on the field and their uh, athletic work ethic in the weight rooms and also uh, leadership on the team. The winners of these awards will also be receiving a $100 scholarship. Winners of the awards this year, Male Athlete of the Year is Braden Clover. Our Female Athlete of the Year winner is Claire Hookstra. Again, I would like to congratulate all of our award winners and all of our letter winners this year. And would like to thank everyone uh, for watching our athletic virtual athletic banquet this year and hope to see you all next season. Thank you and good luck to all.